Mambo VP everybody welcome back to all news where we keep you updated with everything that happens around the world can maraka kwanza ku watch our videos please remember to subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you don't miss our next trending stories oya wadau kanaonekana kame nuka wase kame haribika tayari and i'm talking about king kaka's latest release wa jinga nyinyi unajua kwamba king kaka li release hiyo ngoma on saturday ambapo sasa hiyo ngoma ukiangalia kwenye youtube it has 1.1 million views already na hiyo ngoma alitaja ali mapolitician's kadhaa akiwaambia eh hey, manzee vile mnatufanyia siku poa and part of the politicians that, that king kaka mentioned ni eh, governor wa kirenyaga anwai guru <laughs> najua kwamba few years ago anwai guru alikuwa kwenye scandal ya nys and uh, king kaka pia akaamua ku address the issue of a corruption allegation against anwai guru ambapo alimuuliza swali ni ingawa mbona anwai guru sasa ni governor and yet kulitokea scandal flani alinunua biro na 8000 kenya shillings each biro and yet kwenye market hiyo biro inauzwa 20 bob Mm -hmm. Now today Anwai Guru through her lawyers ambao wanajulikana kama Kiragu Wadhuta and company advocates she has decided to uh, to sue King Kaka in other words um, she has threatened to sue King Kaka mm -hmm. Now we gonna read some of the demands uh, put against, um, against King Kaka na lafu hizi demands King Kaka mambo azifuate I suppose ifuata kutakuwa na repercussions Nakumbuka kwamba niliwaambia kuna repercussions za kuattack serikali mnajua serikali si ya kuatakiwa hivyo lakini King Kaka amesimama kidete akasema ah liwe liwalo wacha ni niseme ukweli kama mbaya mbaya na wa Kenya wamesema kakiharibika we are behind your back and currently kuna hashtag ina trend kwa Twitter right now at number one inayoitwa i stand with team kaka mnaweza pitia kwenye hiyo hashtag muangalie na tukipitia some of the demands uh, put on the table Eh uh, um, um, uh, kufuata ni kwamba wacha tusome the demand the first demand ambapo anasema hivi even if you are advocates of Mbembe Kinkaka that you offer an equivocal and an unqualified and unreserved restriction as well as an apology to our client subject to our review and approval <laughs> in other words wanaambia kwamba Kinkaka anafaa kwa apologize anwai guru kwa kumwaribia jina hmm? na wao ta approve kama our advocates ta approve hiyo 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 apology kama iko sawa eh ka, inaonekana kama hiyo apology itakuwa sawa they won't approve it the second demand inasema hivi the permanent immediate and unconditional withdrawal pulling down and and um, and and deletion of the song from all social media platforms including but not limited to Twitter and YouTube hmm? Kinkaka anambua kwamba hiyo ngoma idilitiwe immediately from his uh, social media platforms eh? that means YouTube peer inafaa kutolewa right now the song has 1.1 million kenyan views sasa manze mbona mwaribia kijana hivi jina jo mbona mnaribia kinkaka mm, yani ngoma sasa iko na 1.1 million views tena mnamwambia toe i pull down Hmm? The third um the third uh, demand me a full and unconditional admission of liability in writing where uh, after this the issue of quantum damages to our client shall be pursued eh? Kinkaka anaambia kwamba anafaa admit kwamba ni yeye alifanya hii mambo Hayo maneno mengine ni, ni mambo ya law ambapo sielewi sisi nika explain vizuri mkitaka mnaweza fuatilia hiyo story kwenye Twitter saa hii inaendelea ku trend the fourth demand ni an unconditional confirmation and commitment in writing not to release any further defamatory songs or words against our clients kinga kanaambiwa kwamba that anafaa ku, ku um, anafaa ku commit aseme kwamba hata andika maneno machafu ama maneno ambayo ataenda kinyume na mapenzi ya 
anwai guru ya eh? in other words anaambia muache kuharibia anwai guru jina na usiendelee tunakuambia usiendelee kuandika nyimbo ambazo zitamharibia sifa na tukiendelea kusoma hiyo tukiendelea kusoma um the advocates vilion and leo kusema eh, tusome hapa kwa tech notice wanaambia king cup ka hivi if you do not receive a written confirmation indicating compliance with the above conditions we are We have firm instruction to institute multi facilitated first led swift decisive and extremely unconvincing adverse but perfectly lawful remedial proceedings and complaints against you seeking inter alia eh ayo maneno manze ayo ni maneno ya law what when you live wali soma law mnaelewa kenye hapa umesema eh na ukiendelea kusema hivi eh ukisema hivi ukiendelea kumwambia hivi injunctive orders restraining you from further circulating and distribution distributing any defamatory lyrics and and words against our clients eh ameambiwa kwamba asiendelee hivyo asiendelee ku, ku distribute hizo lyrics this means from now on king kaka is not allowed to talk about wajinga nyinyi we damages on on the footing of aggravated and extra exemplary damages whatever that means hey what that means is nika explain hayo ni mambo ya watu wa no mnajua kwa kenya amesema hapa anyway guys what do you think mbona wanaingilia king kaka manzi Bwana mnaingilia King Kaka. Mnajua kwamba this is what mm, revolution is. Mnaelewa? And if you try to attack the government, kuna watu watakuja against you. Mnajua? Na niliwaambia kwa uh, today that kuna watu waliojaribu ku attack the government. And um, that is uh, kena miguna miguna Boniface Mwangi na unajua kuna repercussions of attacking the government. Bwana waingilia King Kaka hivi. Do you think this is right for what Anwegur is doing against King Kaka? Eh? Give us your comments. Tuambie ni nini wona fikria. Do you think Anwegur is right? Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.